Now tell me about projects you're working on because mm. there's a few things that you've been doing over the last 12 months and what's, what's on the agenda for, the, for 2009 for <laughs> Mrs Megan Alatini? Well, the funny thing is I never actually know what's on the agenda tomorrow. Right, so, yes, that's true. But you know how we are. We're always working on different projects, and it doesn't matter if I'm in New Zealand or over in Japan. I always somehow have my hand in a music project. So at the moment I'm working on building a show musical for here in New Zealand, and I'll be able to tell you a little bit more about that later on, but it's going to be about the South African culture and how that's now interacted here in New Zealand. So mm. just a little brief intro on that. And then I've also had the opportunity to maybe stage a show in Japan. Oh, wow. So they've pretty much asked me to just bring my friends and music peeps and put on a show in Kamaishi. So I'm working on that at the moment. Mm-hmm. Also, maybe a TV show in the making with the fandams. And, um, yes, 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 I know about that. No. That sounds exciting. And the girls play a very big part, Meryl um, and Monique. Yes. Megan was a couple of years older um, than me, but I went to school with all, to uh, all of the, with, uh, with Miguel, Meryl and Monique, and they play a very big part of your singing career when you're home in New Zealand, because you all gig um, together. And what's the name of the group? Well, when we're all together, the three of us, after the true bliss kind of disbandment, we decided, well, we can sing and kind of dance now and then. Let's do something together. So the three of us formed a band called Nubian Angels. Now, Nubian means black or from Africa, black kind of goddess, princesses, that kind of thing, because we like to pretend princesses. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, angels, if you put the two together, it's black or dark angels, which actually means that we're devilish. Which we can be too. <laughs> yes, on more occasions than one or two, yes. yes. But I feel so lucky that I have two sisters who are so talented who I can perform with. And if truth be known, Meryl is a far better singer than what I am. She's this tiny little body, little shorty pie, but she's got this huge, beautiful voice. So when we sing together, she's our lead singer. Mm-hmm. And Monique and I do the BVs. I would probably do more of the backing vocals and Monique does our choreography and dancing. So we have lots of fun together, and you've seen us perform, so yeah, 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 you know yeah. we have a bit of fun out there. Yeah, you do, which is good, which is good. And so um, five years from now, mm. the children are going to be a little bit more grown up. Yes. You and Peter probably pursuing other things. Would you see yourself still living overseas or back here in New Zealand? At this stage, we're giving ourselves probably another five years overseas, and within that time, we don't even know if that's going to change, because whenever there's a project on offer, I'm like, yes, I'm coming home, I want to be there now. So we just really take things one day at a time, and depending on what projects are available, and of course the whole family pool makes it easier to want to come home, but... I will say that we will always be looking at different ventures, whether it's in the entertainment or sporting field, but one thing that Peter and I are definitely passionate about is giving back to our youth and perhaps even starting a bit of a sports music academy, the two of us, Mm -hmm. especially concentrated in the South Auckland area because, let's face it, that's where we're from, Mm -hmm. and we want to give back to a place that gave us so much. So watch the space. Oh, cool. So <laughs> nice to catch up with you. Mm, love you a long time. Mwah, and you. Thank it's you. It's a pity that you're going to have to go because I have to wait because you're back later this year. Right? Yeah, 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 definitely. Looking around May, June or maybe even Meryl's birthday. Secret school, <laughs> secret school. There we have it. Megan Alatini, if you'd like to find out more about what's going on with the group that we discussed with Monique, Meryl and uh, Megan, flip us an email. MaryTV at extra.co.nz. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.